Dear viewers, greetings. In this present video, we are going to see about triple sugar ion test. In short form, it is called as TSA test. Aim. The aim of the triple sugar ion test is to check whether gram negative bacilli, particularly Enterobacteriaceae family, to utilize dextrose or glucose, lactose and sucrose fermentatively and produce hydrogen sulfide. History. In 1917, uh, Sulkin and Willett described a medium containing uh, carbohydrates like uh, glucose, lactose and sucrose and iron salts. The medium showed fermentation of these carbohydrates as well as the hydrogen sulfide production. And next, Hazna modified the medium in 1945 to contain phenol red as the pH indicator for identifying enterobacteriaceae and is the formulation uh, still in use today. Uh, principle uh, triple sugar ion agar or TSA agar is a differential medium that contains three carbohydrate sugars like uh, lactose 10 percentage sucrose 10 percentage a small amount of glucose or dextrose 1 percentage ferrous sulfate and the pH indicator phenol rate and it is used to differentiate enterobacteria based on the ability to reduce uh, sulfur and ferment carbohydrates as with the phenol rate, if an organism can ferment any of these uh, uh, three sugars present in the medium, the medium will turn yellow. And next, uh, growing bacteria also uh, form alkaline products from the oxidative decarboxylation of peptone. And these alkaline products neutralize the large amount of acid present in the bud. And thus, the appearance of an alkaline, that is the red or pink, slant and the acidic that is the yellow bud after incubation indicates that the organism is a dextrose fermenter but is unable to uh, ferment lactose and glucose. Uh, sodium thiosulfate and ferrous ammonium sulfate present in the medium uh, detects the production of hydrogen sulfide. And the ferrous ammonium sulfate uh, serves as the indicator uh, which turns the bud uh, black in the presence of uh, free hydrogen sulfide gas. The production of hydrogen sulfide that is the sodium thiosulfate reduced to hydrogen sulfide uh, requires an acidic environment and reaction with the uh, ferric ammonium citrate produces a blackening of the agar that is the agar bud in the tube. Uh, gas or CO2 production may result and is seen as cracks and bubbles in the medium. Materials required for the triple sugar ion test or TSA test are test bacteria, triple sugar ion agar slant, inoculation loop and stab wire and incubator. Procedure uh, with, a with a sterilized straight inoculation needle, uh, touch the top of the well isolated bacterial colony and inoculate on TSA agar by stabbing through the center of the medium to the bottom of the tube and then streaking on the surface of the agar slant. After inoculation, incubate the tubes at 37 degrees Celsius in ambient air for 18 to 24 hours and following incubation, examine for color change in the slant and bud, blackening and cracks in the medium. Uh, the results of the TSA agar uh, must be read within the 18 to 24 hour stated incubation period. A false rea a positive reaction may be observed in, if read too early and a false negative reaction may be observed if read later than 24 hours. The next observation and results. Alkaline slant and alkaline bud that is the pink slant and yellow bud shows only dextrose fermented. Next acid slant and acid bud that is a yellow slant and yellow and yellow bud shows uh, dextrose and sucrose fermented or dextrose and lactose fermented or all the three sugars dextrose lactose and sucrose fermented uh, bubbles or cracks present in the tubes shows uh, gas production that is uh, carbon dioxide production and uh, black and black precipitate present shows the hydrogen sulfide production and this slide shows uh, TSI test results of some bacteria. Uh, Escherichia, Klebsiella and Enterobacter shows acid slant, acid bud, gas present 
and H2S absent. Uh, Shrijala and Sarishya shows alkaline slant, acid burnt, gas absent and H2S absent. Salmonella and Proteus uh, shows alkaline slant, acid burnt, gas present and H2S present. And Pseudomonas shows alkaline slant, alkaline burnt, uh, gas absent and H2S absent. Uh, this image shows acid slant and acid but that is the yellow slant and yellow but and it shows uh, dextrose and sucrose fermented or dextrose and lactose fermented or all the three sugars uh, that is dextrose lactose and sucrose fermented and in this image uh, bubbles or tracks also present it represents the gas or carbon uh, carbon dioxide production and this image shows alkaline slant and acid but and it shows only dextrose fermented. Uh, this image shows uh, black precipitate present. It shows hydrogen sulfide or H2S production. Uh, this image shows alkaline slant and alkaline but. It shows absence of carbohydrate fermentation and instead uh, peptones are catabolized and resulting in an alkaline pH due to the production of ammonia. Uh, finally, limitations of triple sugar ion test. Uh, it is recommended that uh, biochemical, immunological, molecular or uh, mass spectrometry testing be performed on colonies uh, from pure culture for complete identification. Uh, it is important to uh, stab the butt of the medium. Uh, failure to stab the butt invalidates this test. The integrity of the agar must be maintained when stabbing and caps must be loosening or loosened during this test or erroneous result will be occurred. And the results of uh, triple sugar ion agar slants uh, must be read within uh, 18 to 24 hours stated incubation period. A false positive reaction may be observed if read too early and a false negative reaction may be observed if read later than 24 hours. And an organism that produces hydrogen sulfide uh, may mask acid production in the butt of the medium. However, hydrogen sulfide production requires an acid environment. Thus, uh, the butt portion should be uh, considered acid. Uh, TAC is not as sensitive in detecting hydrogen sulfide in comparison to the other ion containing medium such as uh, uh, sulfide indole motility medium or SIM medium. Uh, certain species or stains may give delayed reactions or completely fail to ferment the carbohydrates in the stated manner. Uh, that's all about the triple sugar ion test. Uh, dear viewers, thank you for the support. Thank you.